So, on to task four. So, conditions up here look a little bit better than what was forecast, actually. So, um, I don't think they were forecasting any clouds, but you can see out there there's a few clouds forming. And today's task is going to take us down the range here to a turn point, not as far down as yesterday. And then it's going to bring us back to one of these uh, tree hill, tree covered hills just down here. And then we'll go over the back down towards the airstrip down here, the gliding club down at St Arnold. I think it's only only 50, 60 K task today, so a bit shorter again. But uh, I think it's forecast it's shutting down again. A bit of high cloud out there. If that high cloud moves in, it could just shut things down early. So same as yesterday, don't dawdle and get caught out by the high cloud. Um, and uh, if conditions are better, I might be able to fly a little bit faster than I did yesterday. But again, my main goal is to get to goal, not to be the first, the fastest. There, I don't mind being last, as long as I get there. There's a few gliders set up there. A few gliders set up over there. There's a wave. <laughs> Follow peers around. I followed you around the second half of the circuit yesterday, didn't I? Did, yeah, did. We got this man to think. We both got a, we got a bit of a low save on those trees. And also got us out. We need us together. <laughs> one person might not have made it. I'll follow this man again today if I get the option. <laughs> <You're racing. laughs> there we go. All right. Fingers crossed. We'll have a good one. All working. really go up but the load I've just taken off. Follow them. Hopefully get the climb. Time to move on. 
we've got Matt and Ian in front, I believe. Hogan will be shortly behind. Lightly tread my way down the valley. Brilliant glide over at the moment. We've got 25 to 1. 7,200 feet, got about 2 kilometers since they're leaving the climb. Good glide. Interesting watching the, uh, the other two guys in front, I think it's Martin Ian. They look like they're straight down the valley, I can't decide which side they're planning on flying yet, I don't know if they know. But fortunate position for me, I'm a higher and behind them, I can just watch, see where they go. That looks like they've chosen the, uh, the left hand side of the valley, the eastern side. Now hopefully I can cut the corner and head over, follow them. Still not a bad slide, 12 to 1, 13 to 1. So I was glad no one I could see just out of the ground. There's a little bit of a westerly, westerly drift, which is probably why they've chosen the east side of the valley, just to be on the windward side. 6,000 feet now, a few kilometres from, a few kilometres out now, so a pretty good glide over. So now I'm heading, heading on to the ridge in front, now I can see a white paraglider, which is Augusto, and Augusto's climbing. Augusto, you bloody legend, stay where you are, keep pointing that climb out for me. There in a couple of minutes. <laughs> so eight kilometres to the first turn point. Coming on this hill, uh, about 4,800 feet. Quite buoyant. Good glide, better than yesterday. And uh, I think this is about as high as the climbs are going at this point. Yesterday, so good. So I've got here Matt and Augusta wear thermal in. I'm sorry, Matt and Ian wear thermal in. Now they've both been set on further down, so maybe that climb tops out for them. Not sure. So, a very scratchy climb then. Up turn 5 2. Ian stayed out over the back, so it drifted him away from the turn point, but he did get nice and high. I think he's just behind me and higher at the moment. Matt, Matt's on his way up. Try and get a bit higher. Think of these guys. So I didn't really get much higher than 5'2. Now I'm going to uh, push across and see Ian's above me, 5'2 feet above. He's pushing over towards the turn point. I'm going to head over the that side of the valley as well. See if I can tackle the turn point. Get up on this uh, hill in front. Lower on this side. I think I should be on the other side really.
didn't make goal today. Uh, just ended up down near turn point one, uh, unfortunately. Um, bad thing is, yeah, didn't make goal. Good thing is, when I made the mistake, I, I knew the mistake that I made. The frustrating thing is, though, when I was making the mistake, I knew I was making it and still did it anyway. And that was just not uh, not taking the climb high enough and then just rushing to get to the turn point with the mentality of I'll find another climb and I'll go up there um, near the turn point. That didn't happen. I just ended up crossing over. I was high enough. I got there on top of the ridge, but uh, um, it was a bit of a valley breeze. As soon as I ducked into that valley breeze, that was it. It was over. I was... Uh, I was going to be on the ground, but still happy. You know, not as happy as I would be if I'd actually made it into goal. But um, yeah, now we can jump in the river back at the campsite and cool off because it's pretty bloody hot. So yeah, I've had a good day. I say it would have been better if I'd have been in goal, but oh well.